My piece is taken from um, Great Expectations, and it's at the moment where Pip first meets Mitch Havisham. You know, when you meet someone who is very eccentric or very different or very interesting to you, you sit there and you kind of analyse why they're interesting to you. And you pick up on all the little bits that make them different and the whole surrounding, that's all it is. But it's done in such detail that it just, it just kind of flows, but leaving you enough room to imagine the rest. In an armchair, with an elbow resting on the table, and her head held in that hand, sat the strangest lady I have ever seen, or shall ever see. She's dressed in rich materials, satins and lace and silks, all are white. And her shoes were white. She had a long white veil dependent from her hair. And she had bridal flowers in her hair, but her hair was white. Some bright jewels hung on her neck and on her hands, and some other jewels lay resting on the table. Dresses less splendid than the dress she wore, and half packed trunks were scattered about. She hadn't quite finished dressing, for she had but one shoe on, the other was on the table next to her hand. And her veil was but half arranged, and watch and chain not put on. And some lace for her bosom lay with those trinkets and with her handkerchief and gloves and some flowers and, and a prayer book all confusingly heaped around the looking glass. Now, it wasn't within the first few moments that I saw all these things, though I saw more of them in the first moments than might be supposed. But I saw that everything within my view, which ought to be white, had been white long ago, and had lost all its lustre and was now faded and yellow. And I saw that the bride within the bridal dress had withered like the dress and like the flowers. And there was no brightness left but the brightness of her sunken eyes. And I saw that the dress had been put upon the rounded figure of a young woman and the figure upon which it now hung loose had shrunk to skin and bone. I should have cried out if I could.